In this video, we will discuss how to make a dichotomous key. The word dichotomous means divided into two parts. So dichotomous key is a type of taxonomic key in which you divide the organisms into two categories based upon their characteristics at each step. So by correctly selecting the right character at the right stage, you will be able to identify the living organism at the end. So Dichotomous keys, these are basically used to identify and classify living organisms into different categories based upon their characteristics. So it makes identification easier. So what type of characteristics you can use while uh, making a dichotomous key? You can use both qualitative and quantitative characteristics. What are qualitative characteristics? For example, the color patterns, then a texture and the physical attributes. Uh, are included in qualitative characteristics and quantitative characteristics it means the number of lags the weight of the specimens or the height of the specimens these are the quantitative characteristics you can use both qualitative and quantitative characteristics at the same time for the identification of specimen so these are the steps that you need to follow while making a dichotomous key step one is to list down the characteristics or then organize the characteristics divide the specimens based upon these characteristics next further divide the specimens based on further characteristics that you explore and next is to draw a dichotomous key diagram so example suppose we have a fruit fly specimens so for making a dichotomous key we need to categorize the specimens based upon their characteristics in the form of pairs so here you can see that First of all, we will divide the population into two groups based upon the characteristics. Firstly, the specimens that have wings that are mostly highline and then the specimens whose wings are mostly opaque. Okay, we have divided the specimens into two categories based upon wing texture that is wings mostly highline and wings mostly opaque. So within the specimens that have highline wings, there are two uh, characteristics further, coastal bands dilated apically and the specimens in which coastal bands are not dilated apically. So within this category, there are specimens with a scutellum that has uh, one pair of bristles and scutellum with two pairs of bristles. So the specimens that have highline wings, coastal bands dilated apically and scutellum with one pair of bristles that is Bactrocera cucurbite and the specimens with wings highline, coastal bands apically dilated and scutellum with two pairs of bristles that is Bactrocera tau. Next we will talk about the high, uh, specimens in which wings mostly highline, coastal bands not apically dilated and next further within these specimens there are few that have thorax with median yellow stripe and next thorax without median yellow stripe. The specimens with uh, wings mostly highline, coastal band not dilated apically and thorax with median yellow stripe. These are Bactrocera diversa. And the specimens in which thorax is without median yellow stripe that is Bactrocera dorsalis. Next, talking about the second uh, pair of uh, characteristics, uh, next, uh, wings mostly opaque. Within the specimens that have opaque wings, there are next further two pairs of characteristics, wings with stripes and wings reticulate. Next, wings with stripe, there are few specimens that have scutellum with five black spots and some with scutellum having four black spots so the specimens that have opaque wings wings having stripes and scutellum with five black spots that is carpomaya vesuviana and the specimens that have opaque wings wings with stripes and scutellum having four black spots that is carpomaya zizifi now we talk about uh, the specimens that have a reticulate type of wings so within this category that have wings with the posterior margin having three highline spots and some specimens having the wings with posterior margin having five highline spots so 
the specimens with wings opaque reticulate and the posterior margin of wings having three hyaline spots are tephragura xanthodryga whereas the specimens having opaque wings reticulate wings and the posterior margin of wings having five hyaline spot that is spatuliana acrolusa so in this so you need to arrange the characteristics in the form of pairs firstly then you are going to make a dichotomous key of the specimens that you have so if you arrange the characteristics firstly then it will be easy for you to make a dichotomous key so in the next video we are going to discuss the different types of dichotomous keys following the same example of fruit fly specimens.